In these problems, we are using properties of logarithms to evaluate expressions. And you've already seen the, the logarithm of, of a product, which says that the logarithm of one thing plus the logarithm of another thing is the log of those things multiplied, as long as they have the same basis. And the logarithm of a quotient, where you have the logarithm of one thing minus the logarithm of another thing, equals the logarithm of that one thing divided by the other thing. And you've seen the logarithm of a power, where if you have some number multiplied by a log of something, uh, that's the same as that the log of that thing raised to the power of that thing that was multiplied. There's two other rules here that we need to keep in mind. And I'm going to start down here with the second one. It says the log base a of a to the b equals b. So what's that really saying? Well, in a logarithm, what you're asking is, what power do you have to raise the base to um, to get this? So this really is just saying, um, what do I need to to what power do I need to raise a to the b to to get a to the b? Well, and that should be obvious. That should be b. So when you see something like this, you, it's basically um, it's kind of undoing itself. Uh, we have the answer right here. Uh, a similar thing with natural logs e to a power, and then the, the natural log of that, they kind of undo each other. So if you take the natural log of e to some power, you just get that number, that power. These are kind of equivalent expressions. Well, let's let's see how that works in a couple of problems. Here, it looks like we have um, a pretty basic logarithm of a product thing. We've got a log base 6 of 9 plus, oh, no, we have a 2 multiplied here. So we've got a 2 times log base 6 of of two. So I think first what I'll do is apply the logarithm of a power. And I'll take this two out here and raise the two to the second power. So this is two to the second power. So I'll rewrite this whole problem now as log base six of nine plus log base six of two to the second power, which is four. Now we're adding two logs of the same base. So I can take these numbers 9 and 4 and multiply them. So this is the same as log base 6 of 36. And let's go a little further here. What is this saying, the log base 6 of 36? What that's saying is, what do you raise 6 to to get 36? What power do you raise 6 to to get 36? And that's easy. 6 squared is 36. So the answer here is just 2. All right, and let's look at this next one. We have the natural log of e to the eighth minus the natural log of e to the second. And this one is going to be so simple, it'll blow your mind. Remember, the natural log of e to a power, that they just kind of undo each other. So the natural log of e to the eighth is just that number, that power. It's just 8. And the natural log of e to the second is just 2. So this problem is 8 minus 2. And the answer is 6. So that's a little bit of work using the properties of logarithms to evaluate some expressions.